M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Quick one here with the ARC DV1 Pro software by Bootel. Now this does cost about, I think it's about 60 pounds or more, uh, but it does provide the easiest way to program, in my opinion, the a AOR DV1 scanner. And why do we get the, this kind of scanner? Because it will decode DMR, D-Star and Fusion plus do HF. And you can see here, it's just scanning two meters at the moment. Nice, easy process to connect just micro USB at the front, right click, go device manager, like so, look for your COM port number, there it is there, 17, then on the right here, just choose at the bottom where it says stop, 17, then click start, and that's it, and you can move the volume up and down, squelch up and down, change the step, Got all these selections, but most of the time I leave it on auto, like so, it will auto, if it finds, if it suddenly finds a DMR or a D-star signal, it will just decode it, and that's what I love about it, but it does do HF. Now, I haven't even read the radio yet, but you can see we've got a VFO A, B, Z, and V search as well, look. Mm -hmm. You can see everything's changing as I click as well. There is a bit of a lag, um, but if we get a signal, um, it will, you know, it will just show a signal meter as well. Now let's try reading from the radio because I've not done that yet. Let's see if it will let me do it now. So we'll go read and it is reading. Now this was a used device so it might have something on there. Read from scanner. Receiver must be set to 115200 ball rate. Warning no communication verify cable. So maybe I've set the wrong board rate. I've never used this device. I've literally done this for the first time. So I'm guessing if I go F Let's close this down a minute. Can I go to the virtual thing? Let's see if there's an F on here. So we go F, where's our little keypad? Anyone see F? No, I cannot see F. So let's just try it, it probably is there. Let's just go F, no, it's not letting me do that. So, try if I go clear, press clear. No, I might have to disconnect. To do that but I just wanted to just quickly show you that it does work obviously there's a learning curve with any of these things we have we can't even read the scanner because your this will clear your data if not saved data is lost okay let's just say no for now uh, receiver must be set to 115 so I'll learn how to change the board rate I'm sure it's very straightforward when it's not connected and uh, thanks for watching my channel it looks fun try the month's free trial and I, once I get into this scanner, I'm gonna start going through all of its functions one by one, and there are many, 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 including using it on HF, on the HF bands. There's your step there. There's your up and down. And you can turn here, you can click here, and you can turn the knob here, I believe. Search there. Oh, look at that. So there is a preset search bands let's just click one. Oh, you can change them you can name them so this is what's on there at the moment uh, so i'm going to enjoy so it's seeing that so there must be some sort of live connection all us type stuff wow 80 meters i'm not going to change any of that i'm looking forward to playing with that so it's called v search for these different banks search could be groups, banks, CTCSS, DCS. Is that DMR color code? Volume, banks, channels, and so on. Thanks for watching my channel. I have a lot to learn about this device. 7.3, all the best. Bye for now.